What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I just got some images from Ringside Collectibles and it is a new image of the new Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins which we're going to go ahead and take a look at. We also have some new Elite 63 figures so let's go ahead and get started. So here is a look at the brand new Elite 64 Kurt Hawkins guys in the blue and orange attire. It is going to come with this smash breakaway raw sign which I don't know if this is supposed to be a specific moment. If it is I don't remember it. But uh, you can see the head scan and the accessories are great on this thing. I can't wait to pick this up. But this is also the first figure that will have a chase variant. You know, sort of like the pops, the chase pops with the vinyl figures. You can also get a chase version of this, which makes it harder to obtain. Like, it, I think there will be a chase in every four sets or something like that. So let's go ahead and look at the chase figure real quick. And you can see with the chase figure, it is in a black, orange, and blue variant. And I don't think it comes with the raw smash breakaway sign. It just comes with his vest and his cane, but it is the exact same head scan. It's just a different attire. We're also going to be getting this with the Shelton Benjamin in the Elite 63 set. We don't know what the variant will be just yet, but uh, or actually we do. We just don't have final images of the Shelton Benjamin quite yet. You know, there is the regular version will be his current look, you know, that we've seen on SmackDown Live, and then we will have his golden standard look as the Chase variant. And I cannot wait, guys. I think this is absolutely incredible what Mattel is doing with the Chase variants and stuff like that. It makes it funner to be a collector, you know, go out and toy hunt and stuff like that. I think it's going to be really good and interesting for collectors and people who love this hobby because, you know, it makes it a lot more fun on toy hunts when you're, you know, looking for that chase or whatever you're... So, uh, now that we've covered that, guys, let's take a look at the new Elite 63 figures. So first up, guys, we do have the Elite 63 Dean Ambrose, and upon further investigation, this is pretty much his shield figure with a new head scan, ladder, and Royal Rumble chair, and uh, it's kind of weird. This head scan sort of favors Daniel Bryan. It's like a weird mix of Dean Ambrose and Daniel Bryan. It's not a terrible figure. I'm obviously going to grab it just because I like to collect Dean Ambrose figures. I have quite a few in my collection, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's a different take. It is a shield Dean Ambrose, so I guess that is a plus. Next up is Elite 63 Kane, and it is going to have that removable mask that we saw in 47.5 Elite Series. And, uh, of course, every figure in Elite 63 and beyond will come with interchangeable hands, so that is absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to get this. This is obviously his Royal Rumble attire. It does come with a chair there. And uh, interesting Kane. I wish they wouldn't have done the removable mask or just give us the removable mask, but also include a head scan that has the, the mask molded on. I think those are much better. I think people appreciate it much better. Uh, the, the masks just don't fit the, the cane right, so I don't know. Give us a molded mask next time. Next up, guys, we have Elite 63 Sami Zayn, and I don't know why it doesn't come with his wrist tape or his hand tape. I wish it would have done, you know, his heel look. Uh, since it is his heel look with the yep shirt, you know, the yep, yep, yep movement or whatever with Kevin Owens when they fought Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. I love this attire. I cannot wait to get this Sami Zayn. Uh, we get a brand new head scan. Looks great to me as well. Interchangeable hands, his signature hat, and I don't know. They should have included his wrist and hand tape. That would have really topped this figure off. For me, but anyways, guys, moving on to Shinsuke Nakamura. I think this is, is hands down Shinsuke's best figure. You get his signature hands there that he's posed with. He comes with a cloth jacket and his uh, stripes attire here with the red. It looks like it's two different armbands, I think, is what that's supposed to be. If you can see, the figure's posed with one, and then there's one on the ground. So I don't know if we're getting two with the figure or if that's just a mistake or something like that. But uh, this is a cloth jacket, and it does have his stripes going down. You get the stripes going down the legs there. And I think this head scan is a much better improvement than his previous two head scans so i am very much excited for this figure i think that this is going to be one of the best shinsuke figures hands down to date definitely better than elite 57 and better than his defining moments and probably better than his nxt so i mean this is definitely a great figure but that pretty much does it for all of the new images that we got we don't have shelton benjamin or dusty road images just yet or any more elite 64 um you can pre-order all of these figures from ringside collectibles using the promo code md toys to save 10 percent but that is pretty much going to do it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching if you would like to go get these figures go over to ringside collectibles and do that if i get any more images you know of elite 63 64 65 87 whatever the case may be i will for sure let you guys know thank you guys so much see you guys in the next video thank you